courses and we're going to be providing you with value and strategies that are going to be able to take your business to the next level and you can start implementing these strategies today. So I'm really uh, pumped and excited. Mark, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, Emily. I'm feeling great. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, we're finally going to be giving people the opportunity to get the education and the training that they need to succeed online. Um, we're finally going to give people the education and the training that they need to successfully close sales. And we're finally going to give people the opportunity to finally pursue their dreams. Why? Because we're going to teach you how to be successful online. And every last one of you people who are here want to succeed on the Internet. Am I right or am I wrong? That's it right there, Emily. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's get started because I know we're running a bit late. So once again, I do apologize about the technical difficulties, but we are live, so anything can happen. And we're going to be live for you here every single day um, this week. So let's get started. So Mark, you've got my screen there, don't you? Correct. Okay, fantastic. So let's get started. Okay, so you're probably wondering what is Fakata. So let's get into it. So Fakata is a brand new, unique sales and marketing training platform. So we want to provide you with cutting edge lead generation strategies and social exposure strategies. So this is really where I come in as your trainer. I'm going to be teaching you state of the art lead generation strategies that you can use for any business and that's really what I will specialize in. Now, what Mark does is he really specializes in uh, building rapport with prospects, um, teaching you how to present your business opportunity the right way, and uh, Mark really focuses on the art of selling and communication, and of course, very, very powerful, unique, and closing techniques. Now, the aim of our training here is we want to provide you with each day a brand new uh, strategy that you can use to generate leads in your business. And from there, Mark is going to teach you how to take that lead strategy and uh, how you generate that lead and actually teach you how to transfer that lead into either getting them on the phone, getting them into a conversation where you're learning about um, you know, them and you're building a relationship with them, right through to how to close that lead. So this is really what we want to focus on in this type of platform. Now, our courses are fantastic. They're only $10 for each five days and like I said we want to provide you with value packed information and uh, we have a brand new website that's coming soon so keep an eye out for that and we've got some cool incentives that we're going to be announcing at the end of, uh, of this session so stay tuned for that. Now if anyone has questions please uh, type it in the chat box let us know you know that you're here that you can have questions we're here to help you and we're here to answer them for you. Okay, so who are we? So I'm going to start off with myself. Obviously, I am an internet marketing coach, and I want to tell you a little bit about my story and how I got into uh, online marketing. Uh, I actually struggled for six months. I started in, in December 2012. That's when I started my, my journey as an entrepreneur, as, a, as an online business owner, and I basically struggled for six months. I was promoting another company. And it was difficult for me. I struggled for six months. I didn't know how to market my business, love my company. I didn't have the education and training that I needed to really get my business um, off the ground. So that's basically you know, my struggle during that time. But then I found Nucopia, and I actually found a leader uh, in Nucopia and a coach that I could work with. And that was fantastic. That from there was basically when I was able to learn the strategies, learn the techniques that I needed to to actually start having success in my business. So I usually, basically, first of all, I used Nicopia to promote my current business at the time. So, you know, that was going well. But when I found Nicopia, when I was welcomed into Nicopia, I dropped that other company and just promoted uh, Nicopia full time. And uh, what I basically managed to achieve was in my first two weeks, I sponsored 10 people. I didn't spend any money on marketing. Um, I just basically focused on Facebook to build my business. Uh, and then basically from there, I was announced the fifth top recruiter in the Copia for my first month, and that was on. So from there, that was really mind-blowing for me. And I carried on my journey, my online journey, learning and growing and building my business. 
And actually, in July, we attended an event in Ukraine. And it was um, <coughs> an event where you know everyone can come together and, and basically learn from top internet marketers all around the world. So I actually got engaged at this event. Yes, I got a ring on my finger. My fiance, David Bralia, actually proposed to me on stage in San Diego. So that's how life-changing this journey has been for me. And I was also announced the sixth top producer in Nicobia for this year, and also it assisted my country, Australia, with getting number four in the world for sales. So that was really, really exciting. And um, now I'm very passionate about helping all of you out there who are struggling in your business, who want to learn how to generate leads online, even free strategies. That's what I love doing. I love helping others and helping people exactly like you who are out there watching this right now, how to uh, build a business and, and market your business online. So I actually made my first five-figure income within my first year of being in my online business, so that was really exciting. So Mark, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand it over to you to tell everyone a little bit more about yourself. Okay, guys, how you doing? Um, once again, my name is Mark Rosario. Um, let me give you a little history um, about myself. I'm young, I'm 24, but I'm far from dumb, okay? Um, guys, I've been around the block when it comes to sales. Um, I've had a nice 10-year run in sales. I've done everything from door-to-door, -door, hardcore street sales, from phone sales, working for the Empower Network as a personal business assistant. Um, there's actually some of the people who were involved in the Empower Network that I um, upgraded that's, that, that's here tonight. Um, I worked, I was a general manager in a company called 2020 Companies. Um, I was responsible for a ton of reps who we sold Verizon files door to door. I was also a national recruiter and a national trainer for an energy deregulation company called General Utility Consultant. And what my job was to do is to train and teach other door-to-door -door reps how to um, register people for uh, gas and electric reductions. And, you know, that was pretty hard because you got to convince people to give up their utility bill. And nobody really tries to do that unless you know how to do it. So I was really good at teaching people how to do that. And my best and most recent um, job that I had before I actually went into business full-time was a personal business assistant in the Empower Network. I'm no longer there. And um, I enjoyed my time there. But, um, yeah, man, I, I, I was responsible for, I was one of the nine PBAs in the Empower Network on the Prosperity Team who was responsible for doing all the sales for the people on the master's level. And some of those people are here tonight, actually. So that's what I did for a living. I, 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 I did $5,100 sales like, like it was nothing on a daily basis. So if I could do that, man, I could teach you guys how to do that. Um, that's that's my little history and um what I'm why I became part of this company and why I formed this company with Emily is um because we're gonna teach you guys how to generate the leads and how to close the leads. And my last biggest thing that I've done and that I'm continuing to do is I'm an affiliate in a company called Nicopia. Um I'm I became one of the fastest success stories in Nicopia. I made a thousand dollars within my first forty eight hours in Nicopia. And I still continue to get money. I actually made another sale today, right before I started this webinar. Another premiere sale. That was a two hundred dollars sale in Nicopia. So Nicopia is treating me good. I'm living nice off Nicopia. I live full time off of it, and um, it's beautiful, man. It, it helped me to launch my my business now with Emily Fakada Marketing. Here we go, guys, all the way to the top. Let's do this thing. Awesome. Thanks for that, Mark. That's fantastic. And really excited to be partnered with you and to be able to come together to help as many people as possible to market their business, learn how to talk to prospects and bring them to a close. So let's really get into the training now. Um, let's go through what you're going to be learning today. So I'm actually going to be teaching you an essential technique called ICP. So for those of you who you know don't know who your target market is, or maybe you think that you do know your target market, but you're not getting results in your business, this, this technique called ICP is really going to help you in your business. I'm also going to be teaching you exactly how to properly brand yourself as an attraction marketer on Facebook. And also you're going to learn how to set up your Facebook profile and your fan page so you are actually, from the start, attracting the right people. So. These are just a few techniques that we're going to be teaching you. Just remember, we're going to be with you every day this week for the next five days. So we have lots to, sh lots to share, but really what I want to focus on today is positioning yourself correctly in the industry, 
position yourself correctly so you can be attracting the right people and generating laser targeted leads um, you know, through social media and Facebook. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you about. Mark, what are you going to be going through today? Guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to go through a unique uh, selling process called form. Um, what form is going to help you do, it's going to teach you how to sell almost anything. I don't care what it is that you're selling. Form is going to teach you how to break people down and make them listen to what it is that you're selling. Why? Because through form, you're going to be able to build people's trust and you're going to have their attention and ultimately you're going to make them love you. And that's the first thing in selling. Um, you can't sell nothing unless you can sell yourself first. Because if I don't trust you and nobody trusts you and they're not feeling you, they don't want to buy from you. And that's the truth. Nobody likes to be sold to. They like to be presented things. So don't always. So you're going to learn how not to sell but present things properly. Because the key to presenting is selling. But it sounds crazy, don't it? But you don't want to come off as selling. And, and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do through form, okay? Fantastic. That's excellent. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, so now we're going to get motivated and uh, pumped up and excited for today and the next five days. And what I want you to really think about is why are you here? So Mark, do you want to go through this with everyone and um, possibly, you know, get them motivated over the next five days? And, um, yeah, just get everyone pumped and excited. Sure. Guys, the reason why you're here is because you've been struggling online. And if you haven't been struggling online, you've been succeeding online, and you want to make your business succeed to the next level, okay? Or if you're not online, you're offline, and you're trying to bring your business online but bring it on successfully. The foundation to succeeding on the Internet or succeeding in anything in general is education. Education is the foundation on anything. Same thing if you're a doctor. You think somebody's going to let you start cutting their body open if you don't know how to properly do it? No, it's not going to happen. You're going to learn how to be professional internet marketers and professional sellers. Not thoroughly. You're not going to have your master's degree in five days, but you're sure as enough is going to get an associate's degree. Then we're going to transition into you know, a, a, a bachelor's degree then eventually a master's degree, then eventually a doctorate's degree. And then you're going to be a specialist. You're going to be like me. You're going to be like Emily James. And we're going to teach you how to do everything. How many days have you been trying to succeed on the Internet or, or trying to succeed in business and you're telling yourself, I'm learning this and I'm learning that and it's not working? It's understandable. Why? That's why we started this business, guys. We started this business to give you live training interactive training, training on the newest and hottest techniques that's on the market because some of that stuff may be a little old and some of the things that we're doing is unique to our style. Listen, when it comes to leads, Emily will teach you how to flood yourself with leads. You're going to have more leads than you can handle. You're going to be like, I don't want any more leads. I need to learn how to sell these people. That's where Mark Rosario, that's where I'm going to come into the picture. Now that you got a ton of these leads, you're going to finally get the education on how to sell because I know everybody on here generates leads possibly. But if you don't know how to sell, you're not going to make no money. That's the, that's the key to being a business. See, that's the risk that you take with being an entrepreneur. If you can't sell, you're going to fail. And if you fail, you just wasted your time. We don't want you wasting your time. We want to give you everything that you need to capitalize off of every second and minute and day and, and year that you put into your business, okay? And I'm not playing with you guys when I'm talking to you. Understand that I speak serious and I speak with, I speak with meaning. When I tell you that we're going to give you all the education that you need for only 10 bucks, that's exactly what we're going to do. Listen, our goal when we started this company was to underprice and over-deliver. We, we, we wanted to underprice and over deliver. We weren't here to make a ton of money off of you guys. That's not what we're in this for. We had to charge because we we're full time coaches now. So we have to make a living for ourselves. But the beautiful thing about it is we're full time coaches that's going to give you everything that you need to succeed. You have no clue what you're about to go through in these next five days. By the time you're done in these next five days, you're going to come back and make market Emily. I think I owe you guys some more money. 
because this is just it was just too cheap. It was just too cheap. You guys deserved more for your training. Guys, I can't wait to help you and I can't wait to see you succeed. I, I look so forward to the testimonials we're gonna get after you guys are succeeding in business. That's what I look forward to. I want to see you succeed. I don't want to do all this talking and then five days from now you come in and you leave this place with nothing. No, I need you to leave with I need you to leave with something. I need I need you to leave with the passion and, and the knowledge. And I need you to leave with the willpower to really go and implement it. Let's do this, Emily. Let's bring them to the next level. Let's make it happen. Awesome, awesome. Pumped and excited. And I just want to let everyone know, yes, you are in the right place. So let's get, you know, excited and motivated and ready to learn over the next five days. So let's get going. So First of all, I want to talk about this technique that really helped me when I started in uh, my online business or any business, this will help you. This is the ICP technique and before anything, you need to know who your target market is. Now, you might think that you know your target market, that's great, but I know that we have people on this uh, webinar right now from beginner to advanced, so we really want to be able to accommodate for all of the levels. So. Right now I'm going to talk about uh, positioning and also your target market. So you need to actually be looking looking for people who are looking for you. So um, basically this is something that I used when I started and it gave me a real clear view as to where I, where I needed to go from here. Um, sorry Mark, I can just hear you typing in the background if you don't mind. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to answer everybody's questions. Sorry about that. <laughs> thanks Mark, thanks for that. So. Now, what you really want to do, first of all, is don't call yourself a salesperson, okay? You are someone who is basically there to help solve people's problems. You're a problem solver. So you need to be searching for your future client. That's the people you're looking for. So every person you come across, look at that person and find out about that person and find out if you can help them. Find out what their problems are and just remember that your product equals their solution. So first of all, you need to be doing that. Now the ICP technique is actually called Ideal Client Profile. You need to know who your ideal client is. Now how do you do that? You need to actually write down these questions, answer these questions and really think about them hard so you know exactly who your target market is. So you know, these are some questions that you can really think about so you can find out who your target market is. So, First of all, what type of person would actually want to use your product? Really think about that. What type of person would want to use our product? Now, for example, Nucopia. Nucopia is an educational platform that teaches people how to do uh, internet marketing. So who's our target market? Who's Nucopia's target market? They, those are people who are looking for education for their business. So who, who would you target? You would target business owners, um, online business owners, offline business owners, anyone who's struggling to create leads, that's the target market. So think about what do they want? What is their biggest pain? Is it struggling to get leads, sales? Is that their biggest pain? Is that what your product or service can do for that person? So think about what's their biggest pain? What is their biggest problem? You know, is it weight loss? They're, they're struggling to lose weight or they're struggling to be healthy. Is that what their problem is? Um, also think about where do they live? Are they male, female? What are their hobbies? What is their biggest fear? Um, and, and then basically once you've answered these types of questions, you can really sit back and go, okay, this is the type of person that I need to locate for my business. This is the type of person I, I want to attract in my business. So just remember, you are there to solve their problem. Think about your business, think about your service, and think what can your business or service do to solve their problems. So think about that. So this, this is a technique to really find out who your target market is and who you want to be attracting into your business. Okay, so next of all, I want to focus on uh, attraction marketing on Facebook. Now, a lot of you may use Facebook, you may have never used Facebook before for your business, but before anything, you need to be positioning yourself correctly on Facebook before you even start going out and marketing your business and everything like that. So I want to actually uh, share my screen here and hop into my, my Facebook profile here um, and actually show you guys my profile. So then you can see what I've actually done on my profile. So it all starts with your Facebook profile. So I'm 
basically, this is where you know you want to be showing people that you're a real person. Now, I see a lot of people make this mistake where they get into a brand new company, they're really pumped, they're really excited, and what they do is they they make all their Facebook all about their business. I see so many like people who are just starting who do this. Now, the whole point of Facebook is to be social. It's a social media website. It's the biggest social media platform in the world. So when it comes to your Facebook profile, which is completely different to your Facebook fan page, you need to be actually showing people that you are social and that you are being who you are. So first of all, I want to start off with the cover photo. Now you can see with my cover photo here, this was a real special moment in my life. This was actually when David proposed to me on stage. And this is a fantastic photo. This shows people a little bit about me and um, you know a, a glimpse of my life and you know possibly you might want to put something up here like a picture of your family, um, someone you really love, you and your partner, you and your wife, husband, whatever. Um, and you can always put something up like a motivational quote or, or something that you really believe in that represents you. So that's really what you want to be putting up in your cover photo. Don't represent, you know, don't put your company logo and everything in there. I see a lot of people do that, and that is not the right thing to do, especially on your profile. It's not social. It's not. It's not you. That's your company. So make sure you're doing that. Second of all, this is this is obviously the square here is your profile picture. So with your profile picture, you want to make sure that you are by yourself. Um, you're representing you. You're you're smiling. You're happy. And it's just a picture of you. Now, you might have a picture of you and your and your partner, or or even possibly you and your dog and things like that. What's really effective when you when you're being a professional attraction marketer on Facebook is if you have a picture by yourself, you're smiling, it's semi-professional, and it's just you. And this picture here, you need to think about this. This is your branding. I've had this picture since I started in December 2012 as my profile picture. And I also have it on my fan page. And this is how everyone knows me is because of this one picture. This one picture they know, this is Emily James. And this is going to be my picture to represent me and my brand. So make sure that that is a very presentable photo. And you're just by yourself. You're happy. You're smiling. And you feel really comfortable with having that all over you know, Facebook as representing you. So that's, um, that's something that you need to be doing as well. Now, when it comes to actually... Uh, you know, going into the about section and the rest of your profile, what you want to make sure is, now I see a lot of people that don't do this as well, where they don't have their Facebook fan page linked to their profile. Now, there may be people out there who already have these things that I'm pointing out right now. If you do, fantastic. Give yourself a pat on the back because you're doing all the right things. But I see a lot of people, uh, you know, not linking their fan page to their profile. So once you link your fan page to your profile, this is really going to allow anyone to visit your profile and know what business that you are, are representing, know who you are. So obviously, I am the owner and entrepreneur of Online with Emily James. So when I hover over Online with Emily James, I can actually from here like your page, they can message your page, they can click on it and, and find out more about your website and your page. And obviously, you know, I've got some kind of marketing in here as well. So by doing this, you're allowing yourself to get generate more likes on your page. You're advertising your business at the same time because anyone that visits your profile can have access to seeing, you know, what uh, business that you're involved in, what you do as a profession. So make sure you're linking that. Now, to link this, it's really simple. You just click up, um, up here and then you can just click on Update Info. Okay, and once you're in here, it's really simple. So you're going to see this section here called Work in Education, and there's a window here where it says Where Have You Worked. So you can actually start typing in um, your fan page. Now, yes, you can start typing in your fan page, and you'll see in the drop down menu here, you'll actually see the fan page come up. So all that you want to do is click on that. And once you've done that, uh, you can also fill out the fields that tells you more about, you know, how long have you been there and things like that. So you can do that and click on Done Editing. And then what's going to happen is when you click back on your timeline, this is actually going to show you in here as where you work. So that is a really effective uh, way to actually present your business. Okay, so this is on your profile. 
Now, what I want to point out to you also is the fact that, like I said, Facebook is a social media website. I see a lot of people putting their links all over their Facebook profile. They're promoting their business all day, every day on their Facebook profile. Now, you might not think this, but people are not attracted to that um, a lot. Now, as you see on my profile, yes, I, I talk about my business a lot. I've just launched a brand new company. So there's quite a few things here that um, you know, are in, in conjunction with my business and me talking about my business. But like with a message like this, this is really an exciting thing about my business. So that's going to attract people. I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to attract people. You want to get people curious about what you're doing. So if you are going to talk about business, Talk about business, but not in a way where you're selling people, but in a way where you're making people curious about what you're doing. So this really makes people curious. They'll be like, okay, what's Emily up to? And um, what you want to do is you really want to represent you. What do you believe in? What do you truly believe in as a person? What do you believe in as an entrepreneur? Like things like this, which is motivational videos. Um, I'm going to be talking about this more in the training, how to make uh, videos like this go viral on your fan page to get you more virality and more leads to your business. I'm going to be teaching you about that. Um, but motivational videos um, are really something that people love. And um, you know, make it about your niche, whatever niche that you're in. You know, put it out there that you're passionate about that. Um, you can also put things that, you know, remember to be social. So talk about your family, talk about your friends. Um, for example, down here, I uh, actually uh, had a session in my sauna the other day. I just took a picture of me just relaxing from my sauna, um, you know, over having hay fever and stuff like that, giving people, you know, a glimpse of what it looks like from my sauna, which is pretty exciting. So be social. People love this stuff. Don't talk too much about business on your profile page. That's what your fan page is about. So that's really what I want to point out to you there. Now, you're also probably going to get um, friend requests, right? You might get friend requests all day, every day. I know I do. But if you get friend requests, this is what I suggest doing. So first of all, think about the business that you're in, and um, you know whether it's a home-based business or or you know something like that. Now, what you want to do before you accept someone is you actually want to go into their profile. You want to make sure that the person that you're you know you're you're adding here is someone who you think you'd like to number one work with. Do they look like someone who would be interested in, in you and your business? And would you want to build a relationship with this person? So have a look um, you know, through here. Um, you can see here that if you have a look at the groups that they're in, I mean, this gentleman here, he is um, associated, associated with lead generation for marketers. That's one of the groups that he's in. So, so this tells me that this type of person will be perfect you know, to build a relationship relationship with because number one, he's interested in what I'm interested in, he's an entrepreneur, he's looking for leads. And depending on what your business is, you know, you can you can look and see whether they have the same similarities as you. If they do, that's someone that you would possibly want to work with. So what you want to do is you want to respond to them, you want to confirm um, that they're friends, but you also want to message them. Every time you add someone as a friend, message them, reach out to them. This is someone who could be interested in your business. So you can simply say, hey, um, Siung, I believe his name is, and you can say, thank you. Thank you for adding me as a friend. How are you? So something as simple as a, like that is going to open up the relationship. Now, Mark's going to talk about how to bring this person from someone who's on Facebook into someone who is actually getting them on the phone, you're having a conversation with them, how to build rapport with this person. So if they come back to you and you know they're interested in you and your business and everything like that, um, then that's a fantastic way to build a relationship with someone and Mark's going to teach you how to do that from here. So that's um, make sure you're doing that on your Facebook profile as well. So I'm just going to head back to my presentation here. So with attraction, attraction marketing on Facebook, just make sure that you are professional. Make sure that um, you know if oh, you're branding yourself. Okay. Make sure you remember that Facebook is a social website. Don't post too much about business on your profile page. Um, make sure you're presentable and smiling on your profile picture. Uh, so just make sure that your cover photo is not a company, a logo, or a brand. Okay, link your Facebook fan page to your personal profile. Post three to five times a day. I wouldn't post too much per day because when you post about three to five times a day, 
Make sure that you're posting at times when people are active on Facebook. So think about when do you mostly look at your Facebook? You might look at your Facebook when you get up in the morning. So what time would that be? Um, you know, make sure that you are targeting the right times for your demographic and, and later on in my training I'm going to show you exactly the insights on your fan page and when to post and what to post to make sure you're getting the most effective likes as possible on your fan page. So you can post something that happened in your business that's really exciting. When you get a friend request before accepting, review their profile and private message that person start building a relationship with them. Okay? And just remember that people are watching your every move on Facebook. Doesn't matter whether they like your statuses or not, people are watching you. I have people who, who said they've been watching me for the last six months, I've never ever spoken to them, but they message me and they go, hey Emily, I see what you're doing, I've been watching you for the last six months, tell me more about your business. Now what does that say to you? That says to you that you need to remain consistent with your marketing, consistent on Facebook because everyone sees you. If you miss one day with posting, um, people notice that. They're like, oh, where's, where's Emily gone? Where have they gone? You know, they didn't post today, is everything okay? So make sure that you're being consistent. That is the key, being consistent. Okay, and then you're going to be able to build a following, which I'll also talk about in this training. Um, and make sure your message to the world is inspiring. You know, people want to be inspired by you, especially if you're an entrepreneur and you're really trying to attract more entrepreneurs, like-minded people, you need to be like them and make sure that your message is inspiring. Okay, so I'm going to hop over to uh, the, our fan page here, just with Carter. So I'm going to basically be talking about your fan page. Now, you might be someone who has a business. So in saying that, myself and Mark are in a business and a partnership together. So you might be someone who is not on your own, but you're involved in a business with each other. Now, what you want to do is... Like I said, remember that it is a social website. So even with your fan page, I see a lot of people here, uh, we just changed this, but a lot of people put their logo right here as their profile picture. Now, like I said, social media, everyone wants to see your face. Yes, we are for Carter Marketing, but who are the faces behind for Carter Marketing? You know, if you're in another company, you're putting a logo here, people want to know who is the face behind that logo. For example, Apple. Um, you know, they could put a logo here, but everyone knows who Steve Jobs is and they know that because of the fact that he has branded himself, he's put himself out there, let everyone know he's the owner of Apple. So with this, you want to let everyone know that, you know, you are the owner of this company here. So especially if you are in a, a partnership with someone um, and, and it's not just your business, then uh, you can do that as well. Now, this also has to be representing your company. You know, you can't put, you know, your family here or anything like that. This has to be, you know, your website, your branding and everything like that. I'm going to show you my other fan page, which also represents my brand, which is online with Emily James. And um, as you can see here, we've, you know, in the last few days, we've only just launched this company. We've got 343 likes, but we also have almost all the people talking about that page. Now, later on in my training, I'm going to, talk to you, how to make sure to keep your edge rankings high, I'm going to talk about what is edge ranking, how do you make sure that you keep it high, how do you get all these people talking about your page, I'm going to be teaching those strategies. So just remember guys, this is day one, there's a lot more to come. Now what you also want to make sure that you're doing is in this section here, I see a lot of people talking about their business and what it actually is, but they're not actually providing a clickable website. So by that, I suggest putting your website before the start of you know what you're going to say in the about section of your company. So put your website here because people can automatically click on this. It's going to take them to our website. So that's very very effective as well. So make sure that you are doing that. Now with your fan page, if you don't have a lot of likes, what I would suggest doing is actually inviting your friends. So maybe yes, you have invited your friends now. Um, if you haven't created a fan page, you can simply, I'm going to go here so you can see um, where you actually need to go. So this is for the beginners. I know there are, like I said, people from advanced to beginners. So if you haven't created a fan page, um, you can simply go to Facebook fan page and you can go to create a page here on Facebook. So simply go there, you'll need to log in and then you just go through the steps step by step and follow that. Um, section there. So that's how simple it is. Now, 
what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you over to my other fan page just to show you that because I know there are people here who are interested in branding, really branding themselves and that's really what you need to do on Facebook, um, you need to brand yourself. So this is my other page here, online with Emily James. So as you can see, I'm branding my name, I'm branding my picture and it's all about me but it's online with Emily James is my company. So make sure your branding up here represents you. I've also made my picture exactly the same as what it was on my profile. So that's very, very effective because not only is it on my profile, it's on my fan page, so then I know online with Emily James is also to do with me and um, you know whoever Emily James is. So as you can see here, once again, I've put my website in here so people can click on that. They can immediately go to my blog. So those are some really important pointers. And like I said, I'm going to talk about how to make everything on your fan page go viral and how to generate leads from that viral content. So make sure you stay tuned um, for that, which I'm going to be teaching you throughout our training sessions, which is really exciting, okay? So that's that. Now, like I said, you can actually invite your friends to like your page. Now, like I said, you might have invite your invited your friends, you might not have. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're logged in here as your, um, as your profile. So you can see up here you're posting, commenting and liking is Emily James. You can change that to, to basically being in your fan page persona, but you don't want to do that. You want to be in your Facebook profile. So you can actually see up here in the top right corner, you can select to be using Facebook as your fan page, but you want to be logged in as your profile. So once you're up here, all you need to do is click on build audience and then click invite friends. Now you might think this is really simple and when you started your fan page, yes you invited all your friends, blah blah blah. But how many friends have you made since being on Facebook or being, you know, promoting your fan page? How many friends um, you know, have you added to your Facebook profile? You need to remember that these are brand new customers for your page. So you need to go in here and you need to find out the ones who you haven't invited. And I would do this about three to five times per day. I would actually go into here, I would invite all of these people who could now be potential clients for my business because I'm inviting them to like my fan page. And because of the fact I get brand new friends every single day, you need to be making sure that you're getting these people to like your fan page so you can get more likes on your fan page, right? Now, once um, you know, once these people have been invited and if you see brand new likes, come up on your fan page. What I did when I started was I actually went in and I, I actually found out who liked my page. If I saw someone liking my page, I would actually go into here and I would find out who liked it and I would actually hang on, connect with them. Okay, So you can actually find out who liked your fan page and you can actually go in and, and private message them. So I believe that you can do that as well. Now, once you you know someone has liked your fan page, so just you know, say for example, Seung Cook liked my fan page. I would actually go in and I would say, "Hey Seung, thank you for liking my fan page. I see that you have an interest in my business. I would love to get to know you more, and uh, let's connect on Facebook. And please add me as a friend." So then you're getting them to add you as a friend, and you know you have that possibility of them adding you as a friend. And you're also thanking them for liking your fan page. So from there, you can really build a relationship with them and are talking to them about your business, finding out about them, building rapport, and all of that jazz. So this is one way you know, to get people talking to you. Obviously, this is just one technique, and we're going to be teaching you a lot more. But someone who has liked your fan page is someone who could be very interested in your business. So you need to make sure that you connect with them. Okay, so let me head back to this here. Okay, so just to, to basically go over everything, um, make sure that your profile picture on your fan page is the same as your profile, obviously if you can. Ensure that your cover photo is representing your brand, it's fresh and exciting. Now with your cover photo, you can even go to PicMonkey or PageMoto and you can actually set up your own cover photo if you wanted to and uh, actually you know, put in your own branding that way and you can make up some pretty cool cover photos. So make sure that your website is clickable in the about section of your fan page. If you don't have much engagement or likes on your fan page, invite your friends. You can even share your page to your newsfeed. 
and uh, you know, up to three to four times a day, make sure that you re-invite your friends to like your page. And for each person that likes your page, you make sure that you go in and you say thank you for liking your page. Now, this is really good if you're just starting out. You know, if you're getting a lot of likes every day, you might not have time to do that. But this is what I did. Absolutely a free technique when I started, and this is how I get started getting people interested in my business. So from there, that's that's what you do. You know, connect with them, start building a relationship with them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition over to Mark because Mark is actually going to be able to teach you from here um, as to how you take this type of lead and you start building a relationship with them. You know, how do you get them from being on Facebook to on the phone? So, um, so Mark, so for example. This particular lead uh, liked my page, I reached out to them, I messaged them, and I basically said, thank you for liking my fan page, we'd love to connect with you, please add me as a friend. So they added me as a friend, I've messaged them, and I've said, thank you for adding me as a friend, how are you? Um, what do I do from here, Mark, to build the relationship with that person? What do I do to, to start building rapport with this person, get to know them the right way, without pitching my business straight away? So I'll hand it over to you. Perfect. Um, can you hear me, Em? Good? Okay, perfect. Um, guys, once you've brought in a lead through her um, technique, which is it, it works, I, I bring in leads all day long off of Facebook, you want to transition into a technique called Form. Form is an amazing way to control people off of four different things. The first thing that you want to touch on what will form is it's going to be a way of selling where you're collecting information on a person that's vital. We're not talking about like credit card information and social security cards. No, we're talking about who they are. You want to understand who they are. So the first way of building a relationship with an individual, especially if you're trying to pitch a business to somebody, I reach out to people and ask them, you know, like, um, I see you had, you know, well, how, how's your family? You know, do you have a family? John, I, you know, I've seen that you are promoting a business and stuff like that and, and things of that nature. Do you have a family? And I'm going to let you guys know the most effective way to use form is to get somebody on the phone. And the most effective way to get somebody on the phone is utilizing form. Because you're going to utilize form to build relationships. So when you're going through Facebook talking to these individuals, you just talk to them, John, hey, man, I see you had a beautiful family, man. I, or, guys, you can get the, all this information just by going on their profile page. Just go on their profile page and look up, a, see, what it, see what it says about them. Don't be stalkers. I'm not, this is not stalking. This is called information collecting. That's what I call it because you're, you're, you're learning about your prospect. The best way to sell to a prospect is to understand them the most because you don't sell to everybody the same way. You're not going to sell to a, 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 a very wealthy individual the same way that you sell to somebody who's not very wealthy. And you're not going to sell to an educated person the same way you sell to an uneducated person. Okay? So you have to understand who your target prospect is. And the techniques that Emily are teaching and we're going to learn through the next couple of days is going to teach you how to generate high, high quality leads. These are people who are going to be interested in what you're offering. So when you're reaching out to these individuals, you're going to tell them things like, hey, John, I see you have a wife and two kids. That's cool, man. I have a wife and two kids. Um, and I see that you love your family a lot, man. I love your family a lot. You're just building that relationship with them. Talk to them about their family, you know. The next thing you're going to you're going to talk to them about is occupation. You're going to get into talking to somebody about their occupation. You want to know what the prospect does for a living. The reason why, guys, the, there, there's a reason why I tell you to collect all this information, because remember, I tell you, you're going to repeat this after you've collected the information. You're going to utilize this as a tool against them. When they're sitting there trying to say, I'm not interested or I don't need that and stuff like that. That's why this technique is so vital because when you're talking to somebody about their family, when, when they want to be in a business opportunity or they, they want to make some income, a lot of the times we as people, that's the number one thing that motivates us. We want a better way for ourselves and for our family. Nobody wants to be struggling. 
Nobody wants their family to be struggling. Nobody wants to see their kids living hard. Nobody wants to see their mom struggling when she's in her old age, their dad struggling. People are motivated by helping their family. So the first thing you need to get into somebody's mind is them thinking about their family. Now the reason why you transition into occupation and talking about what they do for a living, you're asking things like, what are you doing for a living? I see that you do carpentry work or something like that. I, I can tell by the uh, stuff that you put on your profile. Or just ask them. Just talk back and forth. Normal conversation. Hey, man, do you have a family? As in the process of you building a rapport with them, ask them, do you have a family? They're going to talk to you about their family and be like, what do you do for a living? Normal conversation. They're going to make, you know, I work in... I work door-to-door, uh, -door sales job, It'd be kicking my butt. I hate knocking on these doors. And you're going to ask some things like, how's the job? How is it? Does it pay good? Does it take care of your family? Is it giving you the money to take care of your family? Do you do you get the, to give the family the lifestyle that you want to give them? They're going to be like, no. 90, not, listen, 95% of the people in the world are not making the money that they feel they should be making. Probably more than that. I'm going to say like 99%. Or 98%. Like 2% of the world makes the money that they really want. And they still want more money. <laughs> so what you want to do is, is make people understand that what you're doing for a living is not taking care of your family. The next thing you want to transition into is recreation. You want to let people, you want to make people develop a vision in their mind that talk that 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 where they can see everything that they wanted to do in life you know you want to start talking like hey john you know i see that you you got a beautiful family man i know that you're doing the um, construction thing what are you doing like do you get to have fun like how how's how's life then man where do you get to go have, have you went on vacation in the last year did you get to go on vacation last year would you like to go on vacation this year you know stuff like that Ask them like that in the messages. Keep it simple. Build that relationship. These are the things that you guys want to touch on because these are the things that are important to us as people. We all love our family. We all either love our jobs or hate our jobs. We all want to live a beautiful lifestyle recreation-wise. And the next thing you want to talk about is what motivates us. We as people are all motivated by something. We're motivated by money that's a big motivator i don't care where I, yes i said it guys i said it money motivates us because money is what pays your bills and money is what feeds your children and feeds your family and and, and gives you the lifestyle that you got now so we're all motivated by money not to be greedy but to take care of our business our family motivates us that's why this is the first objective to touch on and form is the family because our family is like number one like I'm cool. I, I, I'm okay with struggling. I don't want to struggle, but if I was struggling and my wife and my son is taken care of that's on the way, I'm happy. As long as they're happy, I'm happy. If, I, if they ain't happy, I'm not happy. I can't function. So that plays a big role in my mindset. Other things that motivate people is the fact that they hate their job. This is why you need to ask them about the occupation. You hate your job, right, John? I know you do. That's a big motivation. You want to stop doing what you're doing for a living, right? I do, too. I, I want you to stop doing that, too. I'm going to teach you guys how to break them down with the form in, in a couple minutes. Recreation. Wouldn't you, love to live in, wouldn't you love to go to Fiji right now? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? That's motivating, ain't it? Wouldn't you love to go to the Bahamas in like two months? I know you would. Stuff like that. This is what motivates people. So you want to get them excited. So now that you got this information, you know, and guys, I highly recommend when you're talking to these people, once you get a relationship with them, ask for a phone number or give them a phone number to call you. I'll teach you how to fit it in. Why? Because that's the best way to talk to somebody or on Skype, at least talk on Skype if they're international. Nobody wants to talk to somebody through no chat room. I don't. And I never try to do that. Everybody that I talk to when I'm trying to sell them something, I always get a number. And the way that I get a number or the way that I get them to call me is through this form. I build relationships 
listen, if I showed you some of my sales calls, there's times that I'm on the phone for like an hour. Like um, my, one of my buddy, James Lai here, he's actually attending here tonight. James Lai is one of the people I upgraded to the master's level in the Empower Network. He spent $5,100 to upgrade to the master's level because he took his business serious. Yes, $5,100. So you know how long it took me to build that relationship with James? I spent like, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning that I was talking to James Lai. I spent, I started at like 12 o'clock in the morning. James is probably laughing right now. And I stopped at 3 o'clock in the morning. I spent like three hours with James just build a relationship. How are you going to ask somebody to spend $5,100 if you don't even know me? I'm not spending nothing. Why? Because I don't trust you and I don't know you. So that's the first thing to, to sell them is building relationships with people. So now that we got this information on these, these people, and if you can't get them on the phone, listen, you got to get them on the phone. There is no can't. That's your objective. Get these individuals on the phone. And I'm going to teach you how you get a number. A simple way of getting a number is like, um, listen, man, I really enjoy talking to you. I don't really like to type a lot. I'm not a big typer. I type real slow. Do you mind if you can give me a call at 215, blah, 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 blah. They're going to be, yeah, sure, man. I don't like typing either. <laughs> or you can ask them, you know, I don't like typing. Do you mind if you give me a number so I can call you right now? Are you available right now? Because I really like to talk better. Talking for me is better. And I really enjoy my conversation I'm having with you. And I would really like to just talk to you. Or do you have a Skype ID? Keep it simple. Stop. Don't, don't, don't try to do anything hard. Simple. I don't like to type. Can I please have a number? Don't say please. I don't like to type. Do you mind if I call you? Can you give me a number? Something like that. That's a, I get the number every time, guys. That's what you need to do right there. Listen. Keep it that simple. Tell them that you don't like the type. Ask them for a number. I guarantee you, if you capitalize and use form properly, nobody's going to deny a phone number to you unless they don't have one. Now, once you have these individuals on the phone, this is when you get back into form again. Or you already probably got their phone number, and some of you guys already have leads and prospects here. So if you already have leads and prospects and you start reaching out and contacting these people, you want to get right to the business. John, hey, how you doing? Mark Rosario, nice to meet you, man. I'm finally excited to finally get you on the phone. How's your day going? Oh, great. Wow, that's amazing. Mine's is too. John, listen, um, you know, I don't want to take much of your time. I know that you're probably really busy. I'm really busy too. I just want to reach out to you and congratulate you and welcome you, you know, to, to whatever opportunity that you're introducing them to, in, introducing them to. Guys. I always congratulate people and welcome people to something because it makes them feel like they're already a, they're already a part of it. When I talk to people, hey John, how you doing, man? I just want to congratulate you and welcome you to Nicopia, man. Congratulations for opting in and looking into the opportunity. I'm really excited for you, man. Listen, if I showed you some of the recordings, every time I tell people that, they're always like, "Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited. This is cool." This is really Mark Rosario speaking to me. And I'm nobody big, guys, but they see you on the video or whatever. They see your page. They, they see that you're having some success. So they're excited to talk to you. And that's what you need to capitalize off, the excitement. Don't start selling. As soon as you start selling, there goes the excitement. Oh, he's another one. He's another salesman. I don't want to be sold to. Thank you, Mark. I really enjoyed your time to call out to me. But, um... I'll talk to you later. How about I follow up with you in like three days? Guys, I'm letting you know if that happened, nine times out of ten, you lost that sale. So to avoid that, once you got them excited, you want to be like, John, hey, man, I want to ask you a couple questions to see, you know, to see if I'm a good fit for you and you're a good fit for, 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 for me and see, you know, um, if we can work good together, man. I'm, I'm having a nice amount of success and I don't know if you're having success, but if you are, I'm happy for you, and I would like to help you have more success. That's another thing, guys. Do not talk about yourself. Talk about them. Don't sit here and talk about your success that you have all day. Nobody wants to, Nobody cares about how successful you are. What people care about is how successful you're going to make them, okay? How successful are you going to make me? If you tell me that I'm going to be successful, and you're spending the time to talk to me about how much success I'm going to have, I'm going to listen. 
If you're telling me how successful you you are, and you're not telling me how you're going to make me successful, what is you? What, what do I care for? I'm not going to benefit from this conversation. So, once you got them on the phone, you you know you're telling them, you know you're building them up. You know, I want to ask you a couple questions to see if you're a good fit, and see how you know how how really how 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 motivated you are about this opportunity. And I, and I want to see, um, I want to get to know you better because I don't like even talking to people about things unless I know them. Tell them things like that. I just want to talk to you, man. I'm not trying to sell you nothing. I'm not going to ask you for no money. I just want to talk to them. And I'm going to let you know, guys, if you utilize form properly, by the end of the conversation, when you go to ask them for money, they're not even going to remember the fact that you told them in the beginning of the conversation that you're not going to ask them for money. Because they're just going to love you. They're going to be like, man, I really enjoy my conversation with you. I, I'd love to do business with you. Why? Because I just like you. So the first thing you're going to ask them, you know, John, hey, man, you know, do you have a family? You have a wife and kids? Oh, you do have a wife and kids. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. So if you don't mind me asking, how many kids do you have? And how long have you been married? Oh, John's going to be... You know, I've been married about 13 years, and um, I actually have two boys. And you're going to be like, wow, that's amazing, man, 13 years. Phew, it's a long time, man. That's a long time. I'm, I, I recently got married. This is what you're doing. You're building the relationship. You're not only talking about him. Talk about yourself. Build that personal bond. Yeah, John, I recently got married. I got, actually I met, got married last year around October 14th. And um, I'm happy, man. I'm young. I'm 24 years old. My wife's young. She's 20, 22. Um, I got my first son on the way. He's actually doing January. I'm excited, man. That's beautiful. You got two boys. What John is going to do, he's going to be like, congratulations, man. Congratulations. I mean, I know you love your family, man, because I love mine. And they're one of the best things that happened to, to me. Keep it that simple. He's going to be thinking about his family. This man has a family. I have... I have a family. Oh, man, we're cool. I got a wife. He got a wife. Whatever. You don't have to have a wife to use form, guys, or a husband. I'm just telling you, capitalize off of your family. Capitalize off of their family. Build the rapport. We're both thinking about our family. We're, we're on the same level. Next thing you knew, hey, John, man, that's beautiful. I, I really enjoyed, you know, talking about your family, talking about my family. If you don't mind me asking, what are you currently doing for our occupation? What do you do for a living? Oh, you're in, you're, in, you're, a, you're, a, oh, you're a construction worker. Wow, wow, that's some hard work, man. That's some hard work. I, I used to do construction, <laughs> and I hated it. I really did. But you, one thing about it, even though I hated it, I respect the individuals who do it, and I know it's hard work, man. And I know that you're probably tired of doing it. That's why, that's that's why we're talking, because. <laughs> You're looking to make some extra income on the internet, or you're looking to make some extra income on this and stuff like that. And um, I would really like to see you make an extra income, or eventually leave the job that you're doing. That would that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? John's gonna be, yeah, man. I've been breaking rocks for like 25 years. I'm tired of breaking those rocks. I want to do something different. You're gonna be, well, that's a beautiful thing, man, because I want to see you do something different. Now, the next thing you're getting into is recreation. John, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what, do you, what do you get to do for fun with your family? Do you, get to, do you get to go out with your family and do all the things that you wanted to do for all, all, all these years and, and, and stuff like that? Do you, do you get to go on those vacations that you always dreamed about? He's going to be like, no. I really would like to go on other vacations, but I, I, I don't get to because I don't have the income to do it. I would like to go to such and such. You're, you're going to ask some things like, John, where would you like to go? I would want, I really want to bring my family to um, Jamaica next year for a five-day trip, all paid, no stress. I, I could use a trip to Jamaica. What? Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe me and you will go to Jamaica together, you know? <laughs> Always laugh, guys. Notice how I'm talking. I'm laughing. I'm excited. I'm happy. People love happy people. Don't be like, ah, don't laugh all crazy on the phone, no. But just laugh. Throw a little good go out there sometime. Be excited. Be happy. Don't be all, 
you don't want to talk down. People can feel that. We, we sense things. So now that you got th John thinking about his family and thinking about how much he hates his job and thinking about the beautiful things he would like to do with his family and the fact that he can't afford to do those things with the job that he got, she want to get into his motivation. John, you know, the reality of this conversation is I want to know what motivates you and how motivated are you? Are you motivated? How motivated are you? You know, I want to know what motivates you. John's going to be, I'm motivated by my family. I got these two sons. And I got my wife that I love. I'm, I want to give them a better life. Or I'm motivated by not working at this job anymore. Or I'm motivated to finally take that job to Jamaica. So now that you're in this process and you've built the form, now you start easing into the sale. I'm not going to get into the selling techniques today. Today was a day to teach you form. Once you've built this rapport, guys, I'm letting you know. It may take 10 minutes. It could take 15 to 20 minutes because you're going to have people who talk about their family for 10 minutes. I'm letting you know there's no set time limit on how you build form. But once you've built it and you've gotten to the final piece of motivation, if you've done it properly and followed these, five, these four simple steps, I'm letting you know that there's not one person in this world that's not going to like you or they're not going to feel comfortable with you. I can show you recordings for days. I got over like 30 recordings of me utilizing form. I'm letting you know there's not one person on that recording that that doesn't like me. And the reason why they like me is not because I'm Mark Rosario. It's because I made them feel comfortable with who I am. It could have been Emily James. It could have been Bob. It could have been Ch uh, Denise, Chelsea, Dexter. It doesn't matter. They like the person because you made them feel comfortable with you by talking about their family, talking about your family, talking about their job, talking about your job, talking about their recreation, talking about your recreation, talking about what motivates them, and talking about what motivates you. Now they like you because we're two of the same people. We're relating to each other. Okay, guys? So... I'm not going to take too much of the time because I don't want to ruin no more surprises. We're running a little late, actually, and um, I want to give this back to Emily. Tomorrow, we're going to start getting into the process of actually selling because form is just a process that you utilize to build a relationship and a rapport with your prospect. Once you've done that, then you sell to them, okay? Wow. <laughs> Guys, if you were not taking notes on Mark Rosario's techniques just then, I don't know what you were doing, but that was incredible. Thank you, Mark. Um, that technique, you know, absolutely just, it worked. So make sure you guys are taking notes on that. Um, yeah, that was just incredible. Thanks, Mark. Okay, guys, well, yes, we are running a bit late. Once again, I apologize for the technical difficulties, but that brings our session to an end. But what I want to do is obviously thank you all for coming to our first uh, ever session for Bacata Training. We're really excited to be here and excited that you're here to join us on this journey and with our training. Uh, we hope that you took value from this and what you learned today you can take and start implementing in your business straight away. Now tomorrow you're going to learn even more cool techniques to generate leads on Facebook and obviously more of uh, um, Mark's sales and uh, unique clothing strategies. So make sure that you're here tomorrow. Uh, we have an incentive for this week, so if you love the training so far, we want to know, we want feedback on how you think we did, and um, you know, for this week, what we want to do is if you can refer just one person to Fakata Marketing, you're actually going to get your next week for free. Um, we do it in $10 sessions, so $10, um, $10 for five day sessions, so it's not an ongoing auto ship or anything like that, it's a flat $10 for five days. But if you actually um, if you actually refer one person, that when then we're going to actually give you your next seat if you decide to come, absolutely free. So if you love the training, please get the word out there for us. That would be fantastic. You get your next week free. Uh, we also have a fan page. So please like our fan page. Just enter in um, for Carla. You should find us. And ensure to stay updated with our sales and marketing tips and announcements in our secret Facebook group. If you haven't um, actually got added to this group yet, please send us an email at support at carter.com and uh, we'll add you into our Facebook group and add you as a friend. And yes, please leave us some feedback on our fan page if you thought that we provided value 
in this training today. Um, we're going to be featuring your testimonial on our brand new website if you um, decide to do that. And that's it. That's it for this session. So once again, thank you so much for everyone who attended the training today. We look forward to tomorrow for more awesome techniques, value and training that you can start implementing and using in your business today. So once again, thank you very much and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.